Hello and welcome to today's video from Nick Taylor Plumbing Limited. Like and subscribe. So you open the box, you get your toilet seat, and you also find a bag of fixings like this. So with the brackets, you've got this bit, you've got this bit, and you've got this bit. You also have this shiny bit, but that goes on at the end. So the whole idea, this sits on top of the ceramic of the toilet. So say my hands the ceramic, sits on just like that. You get your bolt, which sits through like so. You've got a, a bit of adjustment there back and forth as well. So you can always just align the toilet seat. This bit goes underneath the toilet. And the whole idea is you screw that in. And as it screws, as you tighten it up, what happens is this squeezes it like that. And I can't quite do it because I'm not strong enough. Uh, but when you tighten it, this part, these sides here, let's get a bit closer, fan out and they put pressure, a bit like a, a normal raw plug really, in a wall, uh, and it squeezes against the side of the toilet, which makes it nice and tight. And then on the underneath of the toilet, or the underside of the toilet, you've got these couple of holes here, where that metal part simply slots in there. You push it, it will click in. So that once the bracket clicks in, to get that out, you've got this chrome button there. Sometimes it's white or whichever. You push that, that then unclips and you can pull it out like so. So here, that groove there, that's where it clips onto inside the bracket. You'll need to know that, how to take the toilet seat off when you're lining it up, which we'll come on to now. So here, I've just put the, the nut in and the raw plug there into the bracket, and I've started them off, and then I'm gonna push them in. If I push the raw plug in first, what'll happen is the raw plug will just disappear down the back, it will drop down, and then I've gotta try and fish it out and roll around on the floor trying to get it out. So I've started it off, I've pushed that in, Take a bit of persuasion, like so. A bit more. I'll do it with two hands in a moment. And once that little, that's a little bit sat down, I'll then just tighten it up and I'll do the same on the other side. So I've tightened them up. There's a bit of resistance there, but they're still relatively loose as you can see. And the whole reason for that is I'm gonna lift the toilet seat on it in a moment, put them in, clip it in, without the nice chrome brackets on, because you'll put that in the air on, at the end and then we'll line the toilet seat up. So those holes line up nicely with those. So I'm just gonna offer that on now. So he's on, but he's not clipped in yet. So I just push him down, just like that. He's now sat on nice. I'll then pull it forward. So you can see it's, the seat's nowhere near where I want it to be, but it's a good job we left him loose. So now I'm just gonna wiggle it back to where I want. I want it, which I'll do, there we go, it looks somewhere near. I'll just fine tune that in a second. Now that's where I want it. I'm gonna lift the toilet seat up. This clip's located at the back. So push that in and it should clip up. So those brackets are now relatively set where I want them. So I'm actually gonna tighten them up a bit more now. So they're much more resistant. I can't, so I wouldn't really be able to turn it by hand. But the key is that there is still a bit of movement in there. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm gonna put it on one final time and then this will be the final time I've lined it up. And then we'll get it back on. Okay, so now we've lined those up. Just a top tip, never use a drill or anything like that when ceramic's involved, because it will over tighten, you'll crack the ceramic, which is, a, is an expensive mistake to make. Always use your screwdriver and do it by hand. Once you've got those on, we use get a nice shiny chrome caps, and those simply you just push those on by hand, just like that. As you can see, those line up nicely. I'm just going to push that on and push it down at the back so they're nice and clipped on. And voila! Thanks for watching this short video, and don't forget to like and subscribe.